Hey, it was one year ago this week when uh, all of central Ohio felt the impacts from a powerful derecho storm. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bradley is uh, here to take a look back. Why, do we want to look back? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> right. we're going to have to. I tell you, uh, it's something we're going to remember. You know, mm -hmm. we had not heard of the term derecho. We hadn't talked about derecho really much at all before last June. And now Ohio's had two. The June 29th storm, the anniversary is this Saturday, was one of the strongest derechos Ohio's ever seen. Winds were upwards of 80 to 85 miles an hour as it rolled through Ohio. It knocked down trees and power lines in almost every county. Now I want to show you something here. Uh, derecho is the Spanish word for straight. And in meteorology, that's defined as a long-lived, violent, straight-line windstorm. Now, this is a capture of all the radar views as the storm went through. And this is just a snapshot of what happened here in the Ohio Valley. The actual storm went some 700 miles from Chicago to the mid-Atlantic coast. Now, what causes a derecho? These storms are fueled by heat. Remember how hot it was last year? We had temperatures anywhere from 95 to almost 100 degrees. Now, the derecho that hit this year uh, wasn't as strong. It wasn't quite as hot as that storm came through. Still, it did spawn nine tornadoes here in Ohio. So all of a sudden, derecho is something we're now talking about right. and we know mm -hmm. about. And those pictures bring back some memories. Did, what did we learn from this last well, year? Well, one thing, we did a terrible job forecasting it. And I mean everybody, all the way up to the Storm Prediction Center. Wow. I mean, we were on the air, mm -hmm. but really, when it happened, it happened. What I think you're going to see now, you're going to see the Storm Prediction Center, the National Weather Service, and you're going to see meteorologists like myself talking about derechos a day, two days ahead of time, like we did earlier this year. Not to scare you, but just to give you more advanced warnings. So I think we're really zeroing in uh, when there is going to be a possibility of a derecho that one may actually be headed our way. So I think a little bit of a lesson there. I think uh, folks would appreciate a bit more of advanced warning compared to what we saw.